Hello! I'm really excited today to dive a little bit deeper into Xavi's Coding Assistant. Whether you're brand new or you've been scripting in live code for 20 years, you're going to really enjoy scripting using Xavi's Coding Assistant. Now, one thing I want to share about today's video is that although all of the visuals are certainly concept and we're working towards them, all of the examples that you see have actually been run through our AI and these are the results that we're getting back. It's really exciting, we're incredibly impressed and we just wanted to share this with you. Let's take a look. First up, I'd like to talk about autocorrect. Autocorrect is really useful in a couple of ways. What's great about live code is sometimes you can just guess what it is that you're trying to do because the script is in English. And when you don't get it right, Xavi's autocorrect feature can suggest the correct syntax for you. You can accept the change and move on. Sometimes we do know the script that we want to type in, but we just don't always get it right. Again, Xavi can autocorrect this for you and you can accept the change. Next up, we have autocomplete. Using code comments, you can describe what it is you want to do. And Xavi's code assistant will write the script for you. You can use a keyboard shortcut to directly get the code in the script editor or you can open up our assistant. Within the assistant, you can see the script. You can choose to try another request or accept the change. These are real examples and we're really excited to share this with you. Next up, we have auto assist and code explanations. Just by selecting a bit of code and opening up the auto assist, you can get an answer to exactly what this bit of code does. It's an excellent learning tool and a great way to ensure that the code that you have is doing exactly what you need. Now we have edit code. You can select a piece of script within the script editor, open up the assistant and choose to make an edit to the code. We're asking it here to edit the script from looking at the field extension to then instead checking for .com, .io and .app. These are real examples that we have run through our AI and real results. You get the edit back where you can request the change or accept the changes. Again, really exciting. Next up, we have commenting. Again, by selecting a bit of code, instead of writing comments yourself, you can ask our AI to do it for you. There will be options to how long the comments um, or short the comments will be, but this is a real example where the comments were written from our AI. Now we have code cleaning. You can select a piece of script. In this example, there's no variables declared and there's no prefixes on our parameters and variable names. We can open up our auto assist, go into clean and choose to start the cleanup. There will be preferences here where you can choose your own prefixes, how long the variable name should be and so on. But this is a real example. It's cleaned up our code nicely. Extremely exciting. I hope everybody's excited as we are. And please, if you haven't yet, please back the Xavi campaign. Let's make this happen.